guitar. Um, I have actually built this um, using some old leftover Japanese tuners, 1970s Japanese tuners. Um, a box which I had made and then put aside and never used. Uh, we've got a pine neck, uh, we've got a traditional bridge, string through, volume control. <laughs> Just playing it through a pig nose at the moment. Um, as you can see on the back there, the machine heads are all they're different. The tuners are different on the top there. You've got a little round one, a, a big squarish looking one, and then a little V-shaped kind of one here. All of these are off um, off old Japanese guitars from when I had the shop and I replaced some old tuners and things like that or had to take some off. And a couple of just some that I've actually uh, found. Um, the neck is oiled uh, and very, very, very lightly ebonized. So it just kind of gives it a very slightly dirty kind of look, which is cool. Um, you got a rod piezo pickup in there. Uh, just a little screw there to strap a bit of string onto, or a bit of a, that's got an, and it's a smaller scale. It's about 23 and a half inch scale. Um, and I'll put that on the, uh, I'll put that on the website this afternoon. Um, this will be uh, just an expensive little guitar, this one. Um, really nicely fretted. Frets feel really, really comfortable. Nice acoustic tone just for kind of playing around if you're just sitting around having a drink in the afternoon, a cup of coffee or whatever, and just want to have a little play, a little bit of ebonizing on the back, you can see that there. So cool, burbleguitars.com. Um, look, I'll put this up for about 250. Uh, this is, a, which is a, a lot less than I normally put my um, um, acoustic uh, piezo powered guitars up for, but look, yeah, 250. It's a nice little guitar, good for traveling. Has a great little sound about it, and um, if you like it, Go and grab it. Bye.